Welcome to the great guitar bill off once again. We're gonna start off with some milling and cutting and all that noise. We're gonna make an Iceman guitar shape, you know, since it's cold outside, so we gotta keep it in the theme. We have our trusty supervisor here, making sure nothing bad happens. Isn't that right? Yes. So without further ado, let's get to working. The guitar is mostly gonna be made out of American walnut. So we're gonna start on the bandsaw, we're gonna cut it down a bit, plane it, maybe cut it more down. I don't know yet, we'll see about how it goes. Wait, what did Ben say? Something about, wait. Uh, a list of scores and say, well, this guy got nine for presentation, but you, you know, know, his board's a little bit scraggly, so a seven on that, you know. Now that I look presentable, we can start cutting down this lumber. So let's go. The body has been playing down. Next up, the top and the neck. And everything has been playing down. This is the guitar body. This is the guitar top. And here we have the neck of the guitar. I know it's not the best wood for the guitar. A lot of sap wood, but you gotta build with what you have. So you gotta make do with what you got. Let's go glue everything together. Gosh darn it, I'm out of clamps. I cannot glue the top of the guitar together. Wait, I can teleport to the future, right? Yeah! It's the next day. Who would have thought? We have our neck glued. We have more clamps to spare. So yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Why didn't I teleport to the future where the clamps were removed? 
So you have something thin to glue together, but you're scared that the clamps might ruin such a delicate edge. Well, solution. Clamp on a thick piece of wood, put one work piece on the other one side, put a piece of wood in between, put the next piece of wood next to it, get another chunky piece, put it directly against the second work piece, and just clamp it down. Now you just remove the piece of wood beneath the boards, just like that, you have your work pieces squished. Make sure to add something on the middle so it doesn't lift up on you, and you're ready to glue your fin top together. So we just had a talk with my manager, we decided that the best course of action is to trace out a template Cut it up with a bansa or a jigsaw. I'm more for a jigsaw because the bansa has a too wide of a blade, so I'm scared to do corners like these. But let's talk in more work, and I guess. So let's go cut out the body of the guitar. So I'm gonna use the bansa to remove the bulk of the material, the rest with a jigsaw, hopefully. So let's get to cutting, I guess. And just like that, the body of a guitar has been cut out using only the bandsaw. With such a wide blade, huh? Are, are you impressed? Now tell me you're not impressed, come on. You're surely impressed, look, look. So that's such a small radius, how did you do it? With a hand, with a bandsaw. But anyways, let's put on the template and write out the shape. So the next thing I'm gonna do, screw on the template. It might look paranoid that I have so many screw holes. But this is thin plywood, it's really bent, so I don't want it to lift anywhere. So I'm gonna screw it multiple times, just in case. So I'm gonna start the routing with a short router bit, because I don't want to get too much tear out. And then advance to two longer ones. San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get the service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. Now that the body and the control cavity have been routed out, we can remove the template. I draw down the pickup so I know where to do the channel for the wires so yeah removing what do you say do you agree disgusting <laughs> all right let's remove the template And now we're ready to glue the top of the guitar to the rest of the body, so let's go! And now we just need to wait a little bit longer because glue needs to dry, so race it to the future. Aye, let's go. Three, two, 
Go. Got here first. Nah, -uh, I did. walk into a dark room and you see dish on the table. Ah! I know, I know it looks spooky, but hey, I need it to carve out the neck pocket, so don't judge. Anyways, we're gonna make a neck pocket, hopefully a tight fitting neck pocket, if not, glue will suffice, I guess. <laughs> Now the next big question, does it fit? Oh. Ooh, wait. Snug as a bug on a drug. Very nice. So next step, the pickup cavity. That's not that hard to make. And now we can test the fit of the pickup. Does it fit? Will it fit? Snug as a bug. All right. This is gonna be it for the body, I think. What's next? The neck blank is ready to become a neck. So, first thing first, making a thrustra channel, but there's a couple things in the way, so I'm gonna cut this material away so I can put my fence close enough so I can rattle the channels. Next thing I'm gonna do is to glue the neck blank to the table with the masking tape trick. And then just use the fence how far in or how far out the router is. And the truss rod has been routed out. The rod fits snug as a bug, so next step angling the head, thinning the neck, so let's get to it then. Welcome to Shady Jigs. Today's episode, Shady Head Angle Router Jig. The defending region, hey, it just works. So let's try it. And for the next magic trick, I will fin down the back of the head with a router by gluing the head to the metal.
And now that we have our basic neck shape, we can put on a template and copy that shape so we get a perfect guitar neck. And just like that, the neck is completed. We're gonna call it an episode for today because after this, things are gonna get crazy up in here. Also, the body's completed. So, we call it quits for now. Any last words? Don't forget to thank your Patreons. Oh yeah, the Patreon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mara, for supporting me on Patreon. Any other words? You can now give me a snack. Aww. Or a guitar. Thank you for joining me and goodbye.